Hi everyone and welcome to Biology Professor. Today we're going to talk about how to solve equations. And you might ask, why are we doing math in biology class? Well, it turns out that there are a lot of applications for solving equations in various aspects of biology, which we'll talk about in a bit. But first, let's look at the basics of how to solve an equation. Well, you solve an equation by solving for the unknown variable. And to do this, you have to rearrange the equation. A basic example of this is the kind of thing that you've seen in algebra class. Something like 3x plus 2 equals 14. Here, the unknown variable is x. And in order to solve for x, we have to rearrange the equation. We do this by isolating the variable. That is, making it to where the variable is the only thing on one side of the equal sign. So to do this, we will subtract 2 from each side, which gives us 3x equals 12. This is because 3x plus 2 minus 2 equals 3x, and 14 minus 2 equals 12. Then to continue isolating that unknown variable, we'll divide both sides by 3. This gives us x equals 4. This is because 3x divided by 3 is x, and 12 divided by 3 is 4. You can always double check your math by plugging the answer that you got back into the original equation. That is, 3 times 4 equals 12, plus 2 equals 14, so we've done it correctly. Here are some examples of where you might use this in a biology class. Diluting solutions, for example, in a lab situation where you know perhaps the molarity and the volume, and you know the new molarity you want to make. It's by rearranging this equation that you can determine the new volume, so the amount of solvent that you have to add to get to the new molarity. Something like Gibbs free energy or solving for solute potential, these are all examples of where you might have to rearrange an equation if you are given some of the pieces of the puzzle, some of the variables, and asked to solve for another one. For example, if you were doing a Gibbs free energy problem, that is this one right here, and you were able to measure or determine the information for delta G, delta H, and you know the temperature, you might have to solve for delta X. The way that you would do this is by isolating delta S. Let's look at it right here. First, we would subtract delta H from each side. This gives us delta G minus delta H equals negative T delta S. And then we can divide both sides by negative T. And this gives us that delta S equals delta G minus delta H divided by negative T. So that is another example of solving an equation in a biology application. That is it for today. Thanks for watching.